Uh, thank you to the moderators and sages for allowing us to present the results of our study today at the meeting. And I have no disclosures to make. Uh, Pearl endoscopic myotomy is being developed for esophageal myotomy and uh, has been uh, around for a long time and applied to achalasia patients successfully. Uh, however, optimal treatment for symptomatic patients with non achalasia motility disorders is uh, less well established. In our study, we specifically focused on three subsets of patients. Uh, patients with hypercontractile esophagus, as defined uh, as a DCI above 8,000. Uh, patients with diffuse esophageal spasm, as defined at, with a, la a distal latency of less than 4.5 seconds with at least 20% normal peristaltic waves. Uh, and patients with isolated esophageal gastric junction outlet obstruction, uh, defined by uh, elevated IRP uh, with uh, peristaltic contractions. And our aim was to uh, find optimal treatment for non achalasia motility disorders. Um, we reviewed all the records of our patients that underwent a poem from 2011 to 2015 for symptoms attributable to non achalasia motility disorders. Achalasia and GERD were ruled out with manometry by our team uh, made of esophageal uh, specialists, uh, and patients were followed for a median of 48 months. Below you'll find our uh, POEM uh, protocol. Uh, patients are referred to us after they undergo upper GI, pH, manometry, and EGD. Uh, then uh, they prepare for the POEM with nice statin and liquid diet for two to five days, depending on the degree of dysmotility of their esophagus. They undergo POEM uh, with pre-op and post-op endoflip, uh, and then we do an upper GI uh, on post-op day one. If the upper GI is negative, the patients get uh, liquid liquids and they're started on H2RAs. At three months, they uh, get an EGD, and if there's no signs of esophagitis, then the H2RAs are discontinued. We see the patients back in about one year, uh, and at that time, uh, we uh, de uh, deploy a Bravo capsule, uh, and uh, uh, if the uh, Bravo capsule uh, shows that the patient has a positive pH score and uh, symptoms consistent with reflux, then the patient gets started on PPIs. Uh, other tests are offered to the patients, and in this specific study, we also called the patients about six months ago to collect data for their long-term follow-up. Um, the poems were, were all uh, executed through a standard poem technique as described in the literature. Uh, the LES was divided in all poems, and the length of myotomy was individualized based on the manometric findings. For example, in the patients in the picture that you see, uh, the poem was started right above the high pressure zone and carried out uh, distally all the way through the LES. Um, 40 patients were included in our study. 29, for 29 of them, we were able to collect data of long-term follow-up at a median of 48 months. 37.5% of our patients had hypercontractile esophagus, 27% of the patients had DES, and 35% of patients had esophageal gastric junction obstruction. The main presenting symptoms was dysphagia, with about 88% of patients reporting it, followed by chest pain with 55% of patients. Uh, the average length of procedure was 121 minutes, and um, the 83% of the patients were discharged on post of day one with the remainder are getting discharged on post-op day two. In the figure above, you'll see the uh, average length of myotomy for our patients. And as you can see, uh, we tailored our myotomy based on the diagnosis with the isolated esophageal gastric junction obstruction patient getting the shortest myotomies, uh, uh, shy of uh, 10 centimeters, and uh, diffuse esophageal spasm patients getting uh, the longest myotomies. In terms of subjective outcomes, uh, the Eckerd score in our patients significantly improved from 5.02 to 1.7 uh, at long-term follow-up. The two main symptoms, dysphagia and chest pain, also improved uh, and uh, remained uh, stably improved at long-term follow-up. We define our success um, as an Eckerd score of less than three, and 83% of the patients had a uh, successful procedure at long-term follow-up. In terms of um, 
dysphagia and chest pain and long-term follow-up. 52% uh, of patients uh, add uh, improvement in their dysphagia and 39% of patients add resolution of their dysphagia and long-term follow-up, while 66% of patients um, add resolution of their ch uh, chest pain and 22% of the patients add improvement of their chest pain. It's important to notice that no patients presenting with chest pain develop, develop the worsening dysphagia. Breaking down uh, by, uh, by diagnoses, uh, for patients with diffuse esophageal spasm and isolated esophageal gastric junction outlet obstruction, the rate of improvement and resolution of their symptoms was respectively 60 uh, and 40% uh, grossly. Uh, patients with hypercontractile esophagus, on the other hand, uh, had a 72% rate of uh, resolution of their chest pain. Uh, however, two patients in this group uh, had uh, no change or worsening of their symptoms, requiring additional dilations, and one of these patients eventually uh, required a Heller myotomy, uh, and its symptoms on the long term uh, failed to improve. Time barium swallow clearing at five minutes improved significantly from 60 to 93 percent uh, between the two groups. Uh, five intraoperative mucosal injuries uh, uh, were caused during the procedures. They were all repaired with clips, and there were no postoperative sequelae. Uh, as I said before, uh, additional pa patients, some patients required additional dilations, and one of uh, the patients with hypercontractile esophagus eventually underwent a Heller myotomy uh, with uh, failure to resolve his symptoms. In terms of GERD, uh, the number of patients that initially presented to us on PPIs was 65%. Um, our protocol, as I was explaining to you before, uh, involves uh, getting a pH tests at one year after the procedures. Um, of the patients that underwent pH testing, 38% of them uh, were found to have a, a pH score above 14.72. 27% of those patients were also symptomatic. Uh, as a result, 30% of the patients uh, were placed on PPIs postoperatively. On long-term follow-up, 55% of the uh, patients were found to be on PPIs. Esophagitis was found in seven patients, uh, all of them with grade A or B, um, and uh, this correlated with their pH score in three patients. In conclusion, chest pain and dysphagia uh, were effectively palliated with POEM in patients with non achalasia motility disorders of the esophagus. All of these improvements were uh, durable at long-term follow-up, and POEM uh, seemed to be uh, interesting uh, therapeutic options for the treatment of uh, patients with uh, non achalasia motility disorders of the esophagus. Thank you.